Hello students, today we talk about the nervous system. Nervous system is a system in our body which helps us to interact with the whole environment. So whatever the things are surrounding us, we need to see them, we need to react to them. That's possible only due to the nervous system. So what is nervous system? A system which makes us unable to think, to learn and to see or to react to our surroundings. Right? So nervous system is made up of two things basically. One is brain, then spinal cord. So nervous system is comprises of the two things, brain and spinal cord. First we talk about the brain. Brain and nervous system both are made up of the very smaller units. As our body is made up of the cells, we see the cell is the basic smallest unit comprises together, make the tissue into the next level and then the organism become. So same as the brain is made up of one structural and functional unit which is called neuron. So what is neuron? Neuron is the basic structural and functional unit of brain. So today we learn about how to draw the diagram of neuron. So first neuron is divided into three parts. One is the cell body, another one is dendrite. When we start to draw the diagram, first we need to draw the cell body. Right? This is called cell body. Cell body is also called cytome. Right? Cell body contains a nucleus, it contains a nuclear material which is called the cytoplasm. And these cytoplasmic projections arise from the cell body called dendrites. So these projections arise from the cell body called dendrites. These are called dendrites. One of the dendrite when gets elongated means it gets lengthened. So one of the dendrite when gets elongated, this is called exon. Exon is covered by a membrane and is an insulating layer which covers the exon. This is called myelin sheet. This is called myelin sheet. It acts as an insulating layer which protects the axon. So this is the basic structural and functional unit of neuron.